In one of the highest grossing superhero movies of all time, Iron Man 3 depicts the main character's best friend, Don Cheadle, as a US military combatant. He kicks open the door and liberates the enslaved Naqabi women from their oppression working in a Middle Eastern sweatshop. Nice propaganda, by the way. Recent controversy with numerous TV shows and movies portraying the real representation of Muslim women. Hala, an Apple original, lazily portrayed every single stereotype Muslim women face today. She's depressed, not heard, covered. But this liberal rebellion gets rescued by yet another non-Muslim. I wonder if that's a job you can take up. Rescue Muslim Women Services. RMW Services, how can I save you? Oh, and by the way, this is not an attack on non-Muslims, but simply bringing to the awareness the continuous systematic portrayal of Muslim women being rescued from Islam by Anglo-Saxon men. So, to save you from watching hours of cheese ball, I'll lay out the narrative for you. Attractive, poor, Persian, Arab or Desi girl falls in love with a progressive, tender-hearted non-Muslim, but her intolerant of love parents force her into a life of grief and deprivation. But this hijabi hostage is a real liberal rebel at heart and runs away, throwing her deen, family, hijab away. Written, produced and directed by Al-Masih Dajjal. How romantic. The constantly reoccurring theme of the non-Muslim saving exotic oppressed Muslima is just one way of colonizing the mind and heart of Muslim women, also insidiously demonizing the Muslim male as a villain. This is just another avenue to socially engineer Muslims away from their faith and into a godless liberal dystopia, painted to us as liberation and freedom. While our Muslim sisters from abroad are suffering physical wars, Muslims in the West are fighting an ideological war. And in order for us to win, we must take ownership of our own stories and tell it our way.